أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم But for the grace of Allah Zawajal's rahmah upon us that we find ourselves in existence. Allah Zawajal Qafoor Raheem and forgiving of sins and infinite mercy that continuously dressing us and giving us our existence. Alhamdulillah the way of the turuqs and the way of haqqaiq and the way of our beloved guides reminding to us, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ithaqullah wa qulun ma sadiqeen. That have a consciousness and keep the company of truthful servants of Allah We try our best in life to try to live by that rule and they come and they inspire within our hearts that the turuqs, the guides, they are a cement, they are a, a, a binding force that keeps our lives together. They are the love of Allah they are the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and they emanate that light and emanate that love and Allah make them to be like a nucleus of power. And we see that example from the small to the large. Only the ego in the center is denying. But Allah is light and love and attraction and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad when it enters into something it makes everything to be attracted to it. So we see in the atom is a nucleus, the nucleus has a power, has a reality, has an attraction from Allah All the electrons are spinning around it, it is the attraction and the glue for lack of a better word, it attracts and keeps those electrons within its orbit is the power that emanating from the nucleus, means that excessive positive energy within the nucleus is continuously attracting the electrons. So the electrons are negative charge, they're attracted to the positive charge. Then we go out onto the large scale and Allah shows us, you see how the planets are attracted to the sun? Because again my Iza is there, my power is there, it's a light, it's an energy that my light is there, my power is there, love of Sayyidina Muhammad must be there, love of awliyaullah must be there. The shams is a big symbol in spirituality, shams al-arifin, shams al-duha. Many ayat al-Qur'an al-Kareem, surahs of ayat of Holy Qur'an dealing with stars and the power of the star, the reality of the star, Allah again showing that power there as a result of that power there all the planets are attracted and they keep within an orbit. It is the binding force in which keeps them in their orbit and if you move the nucleus the electrons will be scattered.
Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com Azawajal is reminding us from inside and from outside that you must keep something as a center within your life. And what Allah wanted is keep the company of Sadiqeen, make your life quest to find them, to be in their company and to keep their company. By keeping their company they are like a glue that binds your life together because of the excess positive force that emanating from within their hearts and within their beings. And then we find within our life that if we can keep their company and keep into their presence we find so much of our life becomes filled with ease. Many difficulties be taken away. Many hardships be taken away, many doubts be taken away. You find that the light of Islam flourishes within that circle. The lights of Iman flourish within that circle. Because these are Furuqul Mashoon, these are souls whom Allah described they are loaded ships. They're loaded with excess energy. Their angelic lights, their energy lights because of their worshipness, because of their love, because of their guides, their souls are loaded with these lights. As a result they are continuously emanating these lights and people find the energy of their Islam around them. They find the energy of their Iman around them. They even find the energies of Maqam al-Ihsan around them. Around them their lights within their souls begin to open the reality of the servant's hearing, begin to open the servant's seeing, begin to open the servant's breathing, begin to open the servant's hands with their hand upon their hand upon the hand of Allah and upon the hand of Prophet And so many realities within that understanding that Allah wanted for us the jama'ah. The whole life is based on that jama'ah, Allah with the jama'ah. Allah's support with the jama'ah. When you keep the presence and the company and the fellowship means so many benefits that if you think your energy to be weak as soon as you come into that fellowship, that positive charge, the excessive charge within that association should lead your life to be filled. Means your negative energy will be filled with positive energy. We find every deficit within our lives when we come into those associations of Sadiqeen and their fellowships we find every deficit begin to be filled, every incorrection be corrected and our lives begin to flourish.
And at the same time you look at those who kept a distance from the sadiqeen. They watch maybe every now and then through television, but they kept a physical distance with sadiqeen and they find that their lives are filled with hardship, that their lives are filled with difficulty and even their Islam if you look, looks like it's falling apart. Because it's not going to be easy and Prophet described that keeping your Islam in the last days like a fire within your hand. It means that such difficulty begins to come upon earth and from every direction the waswas and mushkilats and everything that be coming to the believer, they keep feeling that they'd be safer and better off, God forbid, for them to leave their Islam, hide their identity, change their name, whatever they think of their cleverness. Safinatul Najad and the ship of safety is only with Sayyidina Muhammad Ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers. as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. of Sayyidina Muhammad keep the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad keep the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that should be your ship of safety. And those ships Allah described Fulkul Mashhoor and we created ships like them smaller ones that their souls are loaded, they represent that light, they represent Prophet they represent awliyaullah, keep yourself upon that ship. Don't distance yourself. As you become distant from that reality, every type of difficulty begin to come to that servant and they find piece by piece their belief going. And so now many are coming and watching and looking through Instagram and through Facebook and through every social media and say, oh I thought this person was uh, following Islam. And you begin to look and say that their character, their actions, the, what they're doing in life doesn't be matching that understanding. And that's the danger that we're all facing now, everybody falling left and right, left and right. Showing pictures of boyfriends and girlfriends, pictures of dating, pictures of alcohol, pictures of every unimaginable and, and not correct things for our belief. They don't keep the company of only Allah, they don't keep the company of sadiqeen, not to keep a distance where you become a, a once a year person that once a year you put some sunnah clothes and you show up somewhere in a zawiyah, but make your life to constantly be in their presence 
Because in their presence there is a safety, in the jannah there is a blessing. Within that blessing Allah what we said before, begin to, to distill and distribute these lights within the heart. And every time we have a weakness when we come into the jannah we become stronger. Through that presence our life is like a glue for our life and makes everything to stick correctly. It's like trying to build your house without concrete. Okay, look nice and from outside look nice but one push and every brick comes falling down and that's what the children are watching now. Because all our children in, within our communities, they know, they're watching Instagram and looking at pictures and say, I thought this guy was Muslim, I thought this family was Muslim. And everybody now is running in every possible direction doing whatever they want to do. Those you find are the ones who are far from the presence of awliyaullah. Those who keep their life to be in their company, to keep into their centers, to keep into their presence, they find their lives not like that. That their life has a strong adhesive, it has a tremendous bond that keeps all of their life together. And what shaitan wants is to cut that bond, keep yourself to be distanced, don't go all that way to see them. And the reminder that they're sending within our hearts is, no, 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 that presence is the glue that keeps your life together. If at any time you become clever and think you don't need it, you go, the barakah is so strong, it may last a while, a while, a while but before you know it, all the glue begins to come undone and all the bricks begin to tumble. And that life you thought was peaceful is not anymore anything manageable. Shaitan will be attacking from every direction imaginable. Be attacking the children, the women, everything to leave, to do, to leave your Islam, leave your belief, leave all your practices and in the end, what forbid, you left everything of what was important before your last breath on this dunya. Reminder for myself always, these days are becoming much more difficult, much more azab is entering into the world, much more oppression is entering into the world and what they want for us is hold firm, hold tight to the ropes of Allah and those are the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad Keep their company, keep in their fellowships, keep within their centers, pray with them, eat with them, fast with them. So that Allah's jama'ah, Allah's with the jama'ah, Allah's blessing upon that group and those groups of people. We pray that Allah always keep us in the associations and in the circles of love. Love of Sayyidina Muhammad and love of Allah, love of Sayyidina Muhammad and love of awliyaullah and that make our faith to be strong, make our Islam to be strong, our iman to be strong, maqam al ihsan to be strong, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon. Wa salaamu ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.